Hey bougie babes, welcome or welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below and turn on your post notifications. As you can tell, I'm rocking a super cute pre-colored unit. This hair is brought to you by Yomi. So I am going to be showing you how I install and customize this unit. So if you're interested in all the above, then definitely keep on watching. Bye. Lacey, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't. Because we're going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So in this box, I received a silk wig bag as well as these wig caps. These are the ones I've been using for all of my units. They are very clear and thin. Hopefully they sell them separately, but these are the ones that I've been using. And then of course, some elastic bands, some eyelashes, and a brush. This unit is a 13 by four frontal glossy honey blonde with silver highlights straight unit. She is 24 inches at 180% density with adjustable straps and combs and an elastic band. So we are going to bleach this unit. You actually don't have to bleach this unit because it's already blonde, but we're taking our quick blue powder, 50 volume developer, a drop of that rich adore eggplant color and mixing that in. And then I'm gonna spray some hairspray to comb those little flyaways back. I actually don't, um, leave this bleach on for a long time i let this sit for like about 10 minutes just because the knots are already light the roots are a nice little light brown so you really don't have to but you know i love to be perfect with all my installs so i did let this sit for about 10 minutes and wash it out with purple conditioner and shampoo so this is the next day air dried. She is gorgeous. This is the natural state of the hair. We're gonna go ahead and pluck this unit. I do like to um, part the baby hairs separate from the hairline just so I have a nice little guide of how I want the hairline to lay on my head. This unit is actually very, very thick. So it did take me a long time. It took me about like 40 minutes to pluck this unit because I am very like, meticulous and about this hair and the knots are light brown and thick so i did have to go in with some elbow grease to pluck this unit i did do a nice little widow's peak as you can see we're going to take some foaming lotion this is the secret to having these um wigs flat especially the pre-colored wigs um to lay this hair flat and not have any flyaways because you know those little pesky like hairs don't like to lay down even with the wax stick so i highly suggest you use um, some foaming mousse to just lay that hair as flat as possible as you can see i am cutting some bangs into this unit and using the bangs as a guide to layer the rest of the hair so i do have a more in-depth tutorial how i do this um, but as you can see i cut a triangle for the bangs and then trimmed it and then I'm trimming the ends first and then matching the bangs with the rest of the hair by raising it up at a 90 degree angle and matching the shortest piece and that's how I layer my units just so it can have those nice little bombshell curls that you seen in the beginning and then as you can see I am pan curling this unit I do have the curling iron link down below I use some hairspray don't forget to use hairspray before um curling your unit and then after curling the unit and these are going to be very tight tight curls so yes i let that sit for like an hour and then we're going to go ahead and customize i mean install why did i say customize here we are moisturizing our hair making sure the tea tree oil the grease and the gel is applied just so my hair is nice and healthy under these wigs as you can see i am using the wig cap that Eunice provided I am wiping the excess oils off of my um, perimeter of my head so the even lace bond can adhere to my skin really, really good. This dries up in like five minutes and then I go ahead and cut the excess um, wig cap off or yeah, wig cap off <laughs> and then use some foundation powder to just blend that in just so we can have a nice ball cap oh by the way if you're plucking make sure you be careful with this unit specifically the lace was very like you know thin and i plucked a few holes into it so that's something that you need to watch out for when you're getting pluck happy over there and then i am using my wig dealer glue this is the only glue um that actually works really good for my skin type because I do get a little sensitive when it comes to the glues 
and this one seems to really hold on for a week without me like feeling itchy or anything on my um, skin so yeah this is like really good and then here I'm melting the lace into my head while I am undoing my curls my pen curls I like to do this because this is actually going to um, I'm gonna comb it back and then I'm going to hot comb the hair just because this wig is shaped for the dome head and not my head so it's gonna look a little bit more bigger and poofier and we don't like that so we're gonna take our um, wax stick use our hot comb just so we can melt that wig a little bit or shape the wig to our head and not the dome head and then we're gonna use our eyebrow razor and razor that off that's just gonna create those nice jagged edges I see the girls using big huge scissors doing this I personally don't like that the eyebrow razor just definitely does the trick it creates those jagged edges so it can look very natural and look like it's growing out of our scalp okay and it's a little safer and then we're gonna take some wig dealer spray and just gonna spray in between our baby hairs just the end of the you know lace just so we can get that extra melt in and once that dries i let that dry for a little bit and then add the elastic band and while that is melting for about 10 minutes i go ahead and recurl this unit make sure it's you know styled perfectly and then go ahead and work on my baby hairs and if it, if the baby hairs is too thick go ahead and pluck a little bit more before curling and we're taking that same foam mousse and we're just going to add that to our perimeter of our head as well as our baby hairs and mold our baby hairs into however you like it use some wrapping paper and then after about like 30 minutes i go ahead and take it off recomb everything and that is basically it that's how i styled this unit i overall really like this unit i just am not used to the color of it but i got so many compliments and a lot of you guys really liked it so here it is thank you so much unis hair company for letting me try out this unit and don't forget you guys to like comment subscribe and share down below and i'll see you in my next video bye Hiding up and grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing right.